This video is brought to you by Squarespace. All right, let's see, right out of the gates, Ricky found some anime DVD, but then you found a giant stack of, what was it? A bunch of, uh, It's like all Michael Jordan Michael type. Jordan, look at this. Oh. VHS, which yeah. that's the basketball person to be looking at. Is he, is he the GOAT in your opinion? He's always been the GOAT. And then who's next, Kobe? Kobe. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much with you right there. LeBron? And LeBron's like 120 or something. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky, you're buying that jacket, and you know who's right behind us as we speak. Who? Literally, the camel crew is right over there. There he is, Tony, the king, one of the, oh, and Austin too, right there. Jumping into more VHS, Ricky just said the guy went two for five for these VHS. This is a great deal. I'm gonna grab some more anime, the Slayers. The Slayers, Tylor, probably get the Pokemon party as well, and eh, this is not the cat Felix the cat that I like. It's a mini Street Fighter arcade. A mini Street Fighter? I don't think I've seen that one, but a micro player by My Arcade. I haven't seen that one before. Me neither. Very interesting, Wiki. Ricky's already holding a fat stack. Oh, I do like some Mando. Ricky does love Mandalorian. That Michael, that Raphael, that Donatello. Well, oh, yeah. not yet. Ricky did. Ricky did. Okay. Let's see that Donatello, bro. He's a cool one. Ricky's got his whole stack over there. Yeah, Pikachu. Uh, oh, oh you had glitz and glam Pikachu. Yeah. Paparazzi Pika. I like it. And then you also grabbed two games with it. What'd you get, Ratchet and Clank? Ratchet and Clank and Extreme Legends Dynasty There you go, and there's all of the Pops you grabbed right now. So we'll look at them after if you end up snagging. So Pops aren't known to be super like detailed. That's why I think these ones are cool because they have some nice like texture to them and some design, you know? Gives a little next layer on them. All right, Pops in the pile. Ricky, the surprise pickup from you. We, so we basically all bought Ninja Turtles stuff, but then you bought the games, but then out of nowhere, you picked up a Battle Cat, bro. Super cool, and you got it for a good deal. So super awesome. Yeah, we, we never pretty much buy He-Man stuff. Never. Our first venture into buying He-Man stuff. Now I just got a complete He-Man. Kind of looks like Bowser. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ricky, you bought it, now make the shot. Oh, wow, that was actually clean. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. My kids have been watching that Gigi recently. Ooh, this Yosemite and Taz are Dude, awesome. Dude, those are 1983. Wow, those are actually great right there. They're oh, yeah, big. They They're big. Yeah, oh, they Captain are. Hook, too. Check this guy, Brady. Wow, yeah, he's a yeah. fat boy. 1983 Ace Novelty. Yeah, that's beautiful, actually. Wow. Ooh, I like yeah. this, actually. I like this power patch right here. Look at this. Official iron on. Oh, that's dope. such cool branding. That's I'll probably really cool. maybe grab this. All right, we're, we're gonna let the audience guess. We're not even gonna tell them why. I'm giving you six hundred dollars, but the audience in the comments below just guess why you think I'd be giving him six hundred dollars. We're literally not gonna tell them why in the video, but there's a reason. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Take your guess. You, what's your guess? Um, why did I just give him six hundred? Oh, oh sure. Oh. <laughs> Where are the skateboards at? No skateboards today. Oh. What's up, dog? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I was looking. Where do you get all the skateboards from? The audience was wondering, bro. People are like, how does he get all these skateboards? Yeah, bro, you know. Yeah. yeah let me look good, man. Let okay, look okay, good. okay. Where'd you get them from? Just storage yeah, and stuff? Collecting. collecting them. Yeah, those are mine. Oh, they were yours? Yeah, for uh, 12 years, collecting skateboards. Nice. They were his collection. I thought you knew Tony Hawk, dude. That's what I thought. Wow. No, no, no. <laughs> dude, that's awesome, bro. So I have your collection. Yes, you do. I think that is so super cool that I am like displaying and holding his his collection for when he was young. He said he actually skateboarded and those were all his. So I find I find pride in that I'm holding like a special place for those. I think that's awesome. Oh, go, Ricky, show me them brown moves, brown, dance, brown, dance. Oh. <laughs> you gotta rate me. Is this how, this is what I feel. Is let it like see. this? Yeah, let me, see. Let, let, me get, let me get the footwork. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me get it. Yep, that's it. When I used to go, to, I used to run photo booths and yeah. that's, and I did, all different ethnicities, so I saw every type of dance. But you want to know, and people call me racist, what? out of all the people, out of every ethnicity of marriage that I went to of photo booths, yeah. what people, what people do you think stayed up the late, partying the hardest, all night? Wow. Uh, Mexican. Old Mexican women. And I am not kidding. Like the 90-year-old Mexican mamas, they would go all night. I love, they were like my favorite people in the world. I'm, <laughs> I'm not even low. Sure. They, they're, they're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's unveil these Nike Airs. Will they be cool? They're gonna be the coolest Nike Airs you've ever seen in your life. I mean, 
Are they even naked? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what was $600. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wait, I was just kidding. What is it? Oh, oh my gosh. How old is that? Like 50s? Wow, that is Ooh. creepy and amazing in every right way. The best way. part is you can take the um, screw off and the body parts come off. So oh, like nightmare fuel. <laughs> Looking for shirts. Looking for shirts. Looking for shirts. No, 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 no. Look, oh, yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Vitos, auto square. Yeah, I like it this. I like it this very much. And that one's too small right there, but. Ding, 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 ding. Riggy, show the world the shirts I just got, bro. All right, so this is probably the coolest one I need. Show them shirts. Yeah, that's a sick one. That's a cool shirt. I like it. It's a beautiful yeah, one. I added a thing for, for Jared. They're, they're, like two, they're like two polar opposites. There's a. Uh, all right, add add Jared a sound effect to put up the comp. Ready, go. That's too low. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky's excited. He found a Paul Frank water holder, and the reason it's exciting, kind kind of weird, is Ricky and I used to shop at their clothing store. That was kind of like so we'd go to we'd go to Games for Less and Paul Frank with our paychecks. Every in and out paycheck. Every in and out paycheck. <laughs> Well, now we that... received it for a bunch of stuff instead. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> Closing games and nothing's changed. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Let me let me make sure this thing's legit. Make sure it's actual Paul Frank. Um, Does it have the nerve design thing? Yeah. If it has the nerve design, it won't... We're good, Ricky. We're good, man. Yeah, Thank we're you. good. Thank you. So this is sick. This hooks up. If you guys have never seen this before, you put a microphone right there, and when you talk, it cancels all the noise around it. So these are actually really beneficial. I don't need one per se, but super cool. Dusty? Uh, I brought this Good to table. see you as always. Good I to see you as the always. Aaron Carter table just for you, dude. Aaron Carter collection just for me? Oh my god. Oh, oh, this is actually. Man, I want the ET ones of these. Wow, this is a lot of Aaron Carter stuff. I'm not into the Aaron Carter collectibles, but if I was, I'd be at the right place. What the heck is that? It's for your shoe. That's a shoehorn, right? I don't know what it's called. It's these for your shoe. Hey, stands. I think stands are actually like, uh, like very high end. But bro, I only wear apothecary, bro. Stands could kiss it. Dude, Ricky, oh, our kids don't know how good they have it. Like, this was the toys back in the day, and you know how grateful you would have been for this back in the day. Heck yeah. Dude. My own Sometimes puppy. I just had sticks and rocks. That's honestly actually really fun to this day to play with. You know how much fun stuff you can do with sticks and rocks? Dude, oh, we used to throw at each other and just hit them. Like, yeah, like River City Ransom. I used to do that in that game, too. Why not? Let's go beat each other with sticks later, Ricky. Okay. <laughs> Show me. What in the world? Okay. Seth Fowler, we need you on this one, bro. Oh, these might just be covers? No, I don't know. They're, 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 oh, they're there's, are they all like that? Oh, oh yeah. Wow. wow. Human chives. That scares me a little bit. I guarantee you these are some like designer, or maybe not, or maybe, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't want to try to pretend like I know what I'm talking about here. Tables of plushies. There's always got to be a cool one somewhere. Oh, as I said it, okay. Little Kermit never hurt. What else? It's gonna be more. The big puffy power. Is his belt broken or is he? Oh yeah, his belt's a little funkled out, but maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll buy him. So check it out. I noticed they had like a lot of really nice like aeronautical, I don't even forget what's the word. <laughs> All right, so this booth has a bunch of this kind of stuff. Just like a lot of like space program type stuff. And it's really cool. And a lot of these are really high end, like these pictures. And then I looked right up and check this out. They got a ton of these. Are these, I mean, they're not, they're not metal. So, but somebody obviously was a massive collector of this stuff because half of this booth is this type of stuff. There's more here, there's more down there. So Ricky, you gonna buy all of them? No. Nope. Make an offer. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Ricky, wow. wow. That one is pretty hefty. Is the mouth open? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Hey, there he is. is. Hey, uh, what know. happened to a, hey, that hat though? Thank you. I would say you look super sick right now, but you got a big old coffee stain or something. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> ben, what, is that supposed to be Donald Trump? Cool. I can't tell. Look, I don't. I think it's just coincidence. Are you sure? No. I can't tell. <laughs> I'm gonna go closer Coach. with Ricky. Oh, let me see. Oh, Coach, Gr Coach Gruden, if that is really you, you look like Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I always wonder if these things like actually sold because I feel like the days of like caring were big on Nintendo Power. What were you gonna those, say? Those might be kind of cool actually. Really? Yeah, um, I, I don't know necessarily if these are like a hot commodity anymore. Ooh, Ricky. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna lie, from far away, I freaking thought this was a Ghostbuster from far away. Uh, from like really far away. My voice. <clears throat> <gasps> I'm dying. I'm dying. I don't smoke, Marlboro. I just collect it. 
Our entire group is standing around just talking over this bin and not one of us looked down. And down here, there's just a bucket of games. <laughs> it's not the right games. Look, this was below us the whole time. <laughs> that is too funny. Call of Cthulhu, King of Hearts. Well, I mean, case only can, you know, are useful sometimes. Miss this game. Tony Hawk's Wasteland. That was not. Uh, not Wasteland Underground. I was going to say that. Oh, Ricky, speaking of. Da -da -da. Oh, how about Underground 2, Ricky? Oh. <laughs> they got everything. And how about Proving Ground? Wow, they really like the word ground. Oh, that's an interesting one. Me likey, me likey, me Ricky, me Ricky. Let me see. You ended up buying it? How much did he, how much did he ask for it? Two bucks. Oh, yeah. Probably should have gotten it for a buck, but. Oh my gosh, you're fine. Come on, bro. <laughs> I was going to say I commend you, but now you're just a scumbag. <laughs> See, Ricky, what are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Kung fu -y. Let's officially see it. So you bought it, Ricky. Is that a good purchase or a dumb purchase? That's a great purchase. <laughs> Four bucks for Stewie? It's, it, it's 2005. You know, hey, this is this is old school family guy when he first kind of popped out. There we go. You know, just adding. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. So Chris, Mr. Uh, savior of the Pokemon binders. Uh, I'll have Jared insert that video. How does it feel to... Uh, have what you did on the internet be seen by the world now, bro. To be a hero. <laughs> to be a hero, bro. You saved the Pokemon. I did. He tried to catch them all there and you caught him. Thousands of them, I know. That's crazy, bro. Well, I'm glad you got it. We'll talk about it more in the podcast, but yeah. All right, sounds yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, no, I feel good. Stealing is absolutely baffling my brain. But, and it happens know. all the time. Oh, it's yeah. It's just such a rare rare occasion that I actually happened to be there. And right you were there, and you chased him down and just to get those broke his arm and his leg, and good for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we just walked away, got a bunch of, you bought a bunch of CDs, a bunch of rap CDs. A ton of rap CDs. You probably bought how many? Like 20? Uh, 22. And then Ricky over here is looking at this Selena one, and he's looking <laughs> it up, and ding dong Ricky is like Google image searching it, like not looking into it. He's like, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it back down. I don't need it. And I'm like, Ricky, Go on eBay, look up with locket, look up sold, you big ding dong. Sells for 60 bucks. <laughs> Ooh, so I already have a pair of these, but I wouldn't be opposed to getting another pair. What's that? Oh, they're 12s. Dang it. Dang it. These are really good ones, actually. Okay. Lone Super Nintendo games from the corner. Dang it. Even though, I mean, one of the greatest games ever, but I don't need either of them. Dang it. Chris just offended me on those Air Force Ones because I rock them all the time and they're his size and he put them on. He's like, I would never wear these. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Although they do have this right here, the 250 gigabyte with the hard drive. Oh, it's a different one in here though. Never mind. Could it be Ben and Ricky? Could it be? It is, but it doesn't have much. It's just red. It's a little too just red for me. It's a little too little santa E for my life what what jacket i have that one i already have that one okay. but thank you ricky for keeping an eye out for me man although i do like this warner bros studio store one right here marvin the barson obey my command xl i'm gonna ask him how much hello a random a random manual look ready actually not a bad manual uh, go, go. guess which one it is guess what it is Dun, dun, dun. Wrecking, crew. Wrecking Crew? Actually, not a bad guess. Twisted Metal 2. I guess that because I have the loose one. Oh, there you go. Well, here's this with it if you need it. Hey, what is that? Where'd you buy that? It was down over there. Did you buy it or Austin? I did, yeah. Wow. It comes with the... And this is original? Yeah, look. It has the 1980s. Wow, dude. How much was it? If you don't mind me asking. 35 bucks. 35 bucks? Yep. That's not bad for someone from the Camel Crew. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Got more of these Ricky over here. I picked some of these up last time and they're just so rad. Greaser Greg, who else do we got? We got Mauled Paul. Who do you got over there? That is Trap Lake, Traffic Lady Katie. Ooh, and then a rad thing. That's super sick actually. I'd be interested in these actually. I bought a bunch last time and I would be totally down to buy more of these. They're super cool. Bro, they got an ET one. <laughs> Sorry. Ricky. Also, if these were a different colorway, I'd totally pick them up. Ah, oh, man, I've been wanting a good pair of these, but this colorway is not my jam. What'd you just find over here, Ricky? Dude, Ren and Simpy Uncut. 
And what's crazy is you're a huge Ren and Stimpy collector. Dude, biggest Ren and Stimpy collector. First and second I know. You want to know the funniest part about all this? We've been telling you this whole time how big of a fan Ricky is of this. Ricky's not even a fan at all, bro. He I, I do like, I do well, like he it. likes it, but it's not but so. But I'm not liking it. Thank you. Good question. Huge. Oh, really? Yeah. Me? I'm not even told you. <laughs> it's funny. In our last whatnot, somebody literally asked for cops caught in the act. So uh, there we go. We got you. We got you. It's coming. What are you going to buy? Ben Davis. Yeah, that's sick, actually. 2XL might be a little big, but you know, hey, actually, this material does not flex, though, so it might be good. You know what I mean? I think that'll be fine. And then, Ricky, look at this big uh, Xbox 360 right there. <laughs> oh, and Ricky really did give Chris the Ren and Stimpy as it's underneath his arm. He was like, oh, I really wanted that. Oh. He, he resold it to me. <laughs> he doubled up. That's actually really cool. Is that a display? Yeah, Let me see. Oh, dude, that's cool. And then this is cool too, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Big Old Trading Cards thing over here. I like that. Yeah, he had a big wow. Yu-Gi-Oh! banner that was like... Yeah, I mean, long. you're the store owner here. I feel like that would look amazing in your store. I, I mean, I'm a Spongebob guy. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'd go for Spongebob, if anything. I something that size. I'm <laughs> tapped out. <laughs> Bro, I'm not going to lie. When you guys pointed this out, I didn't even want to say it because I felt so dumb. When you guys pointed that out, I literally thought it was Link. I was like, dude, Link! That is awesome. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? Oh, sorry. Look at this guy right here. Oh, this is cool. Oh, also, there's big old banners over there. Sorry. Wow. Let me see that banner. Why don't you guys pull that out? Let's see that. Pull it out, bro. Open it up. There's two of you guys. Let's see that. Oh, dude. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. How much was it? Oh, my gosh. It's one? So you could fold it and you could go double side. Holy moly. Yeah. yeah How much did he say? I think he wanted 200 for it. Wow. He only wanted 20 bucks for the other sign. For that big old giant sign. 20 bucks. 20 bucks on that big sign is nothing. And I was looking at these, but I got to look at these in more detail. Oh, what is all this? I don't even know what I grabbed, but I'm going to look at this. How about the uh, the tablecloth? There's a price right here. Oh, <laughs> the price is two. <laughs> All right, so into the pile, a Spider-Man display, uh, an official Spider-Man display. <laughs> and then I had, this was in that bag I grabbed, uh, the Rescue Rangers tablecloth. They had some other stuff in there, but this is actually- We could use it for your birthday, bro. I still will use it for my next birthday. This is awesome. Chip and Dale, look at Gadget. <laughs> look at this, Ricky. Dude, that's cool. Calabunga's original classic style season. Was this like a re-release then? I, I guess so. Super cool though. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'll probably grab that and then. I'm so bummed that he's drawn on. You could probably get that off though, dude. But that's super <laughs> rad actually, dude. <laughs> no, it's like it's even ripped on the back. Oh, shoot. Can you put it on? Mo would do it. <sighs> yeah, Mo would Mo's do Tavern. It. Mo's Tavern. <laughs> I'm looking for an owl. Oh, I'm looking for Al. <laughs> Al, last name Kaholic. <laughs> so look, in a pile of audio equipment, there's a Betamax just sitting right here. These uh, these go for good money. Super cool too. I love the way they, oh, I love how the open is like a double open instead of how VCRs have like a single, oh, that's not a single like flap up. This is like a, a, a mouth that just kind of swallows it whole. Oh, you got that? <laughs> how much was that? Five bucks. That is really cool. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Did someone else grab a phone today? Does oh, really? if you had the Mo mask, we could have done like a whole fake conversation oh, from yeah. the 90s. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> what a weird mix on this one. Spaced Invaders and Kazam. Hey, Ricky, look what else they got. Bre bro wow, I must called you Bre. Look at Remember when we watched this together? Yeah, we, watched we watched this whole thing together. That's how dedicated we were. We were very dedicated. We had this and this al album. Yep, on VHS, we listened to that entire thing. Uh-oh, Ricky said, ooh. More Ren and Stimpy collections. Oh, no, it's not here. <laughs> no! Oh, missing one. It's missing just the future. What is it? Show me. I don't know what you guys are looking at. Oh, wait. Let Look me see. Space, bro. Let me see. You can't ship that bad boy. What is it? Oh, my goodness gracious. I think that is an old, that's got to be 19. And it's heavy, you said? Oh, my God. It's got to weigh 60 pounds. Where's the button open? Really? The Let's see the ejection. Oh, nice and easy. Nice and easy. So when Chris was looking at that, when Chris went to go pay for it, another guy picked it up and was like, I think trying to buy it. He said he had a similar one at home. Oh, he so he was it got lot. it, but you got it. Yeah. Good luck bucks. carrying it, bro. Dude, this thing is happening. I told you, it's probably like 50 pounds. But like I said, yeah. we are willing to rent you our cart space <laughs> for $10 Ricky, an hour. Ricky, there you go, man. Thanks, brother. 
appreciate it. Hired help. <laughs> Ben's looking at this right now. This yes, TV, sir. it's got some AV ends. Yep. It's color. color. It's portable. And Where it's would, radio. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. I, I, I like the look on it, how it's like coming out like this, almost like to block the shade, even though yeah, it's probably not what it's for, but who knows. But let's ask yeah. Ricky, ask him how much, where you're the king at asking for prices, to brown people at least. Let's just be honest. He's going the distance. 25. 25 bucks, Benjamin. Do 20? 20 bucks? 25. She said give it the love, which means take it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna test it out. They gave us a little testing station over here. Let's see, Benjamin. Here it comes. Will it work? Take your bet. Will it work? Will it work? Take your bets. I think it'll work. I think it'll work. It says yes, Chris. Yes. Yes. Everybody says yes. Ready? Yes, yeah. sir. Oh, I hear it. I can already Power. hear it. Power. I can already hear it. You gotta get some shade on there. I heard it fire up. Uh. Make sure it's on TV, not a, not a radio. I, I see there some it is. Wiggles. There it is. It's yeah. Live. It was worth a try. We were being nice, but in our one of our, our second episode, that's yep. where we asked someone if they liked Nintendo. And just like that person, not a word. <laughs> Beautiful day at my house now. What is this, Ben? We got. Oh, that is beautiful. Sweet, dude. What a beautiful dude. game. Oh, wow. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. I love that you got him a Yu Gi Oh plush, bro. That's sick. <laughs> That's awesome. Charizard? No, I'm just kidding, bro. Come on. It's a uh, mega Charizard. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Three. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Dude, this is awesome. That's really cool. It's I mean, like, uh, you could use it for a controller holder or whatever. Holder. I might want to put it on top of that other Nintendo cabinet. Speaking okay. of, I might want to buy that other one of you. <laughs> now that I, now that I, I've been driving around with it. Oh, it's in there. In my trunk for a month now, almost. It's in there. Yeah. All right, get it out. I'll buy it. <laughs> and yeah, this was not planned at all. But Ben bought this a while ago, and you guys remember I bought one from Dusty. Yeah. And here's like the other side of it. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll put this right on the other side of it, and it'll look beautiful. Maybe I'll even show the audience uh, in a little bit after we go eat. Ricky's leaving us though, as usual. And if you're wondering, I know I mentioned me putting this in my game room. My game room is not necessarily a game room anymore. If you saw the flood, it's just kind of some stuff that's up off the ground. So I kind of have some stuff lying around. So that'll go in there. And now kind of for the big update. Um, a lot of people are wondering what happened with the game room since it flooded. And well, long story short, the water's out and more than likely, this is probably gonna come down completely. I'm thinking just restart it, take it out, knock it down 100%. But in the meantime, I got everything that's like a big electronic item off the ground, right? So the kiosks are at my buddy Chris's store, Retro Games Plus, he's kind of gonna hold that stuff for me in the meantime for a while. For now, it's basically function functioning but if anything happens to it, nothing of like major value is in here close to the floor that anything can happen to. Again, I don't think anything's gonna happen. We're kind of heading into that type of season, but you guys can see that every, that I think that's broken that Xbox by the way too. That's why that electronic is on the floor. But otherwise it's not really utilized as a game room right now. We moved a lot of our stuff to that warehouse that you guys see in some of our other videos. This is kind of some of my extra stuff that I just have picked up too much stuff of. It's just kind of lying around. Here's my skateboards that you guys have been, you know, everyone's like, what do you do with all your skateboards? Well, this is literally just some of them. This isn't even all of them. There's another one right there. 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 Another one right there. Another one up here and down there. Another one over here. Uh, just kind of got some of my VHS lying around different spots. Um, here's that other cabinet. There it is right there. The one I just got from Ben. I just bought that from him, by the way, guys. I, I think I gave him like close to 200 bucks for it. So really nice to have them side by side. But again, guys, this is gonna come down. Oh, there's that Paramount sign you guys saw a while ago, the Blockbuster one. But this is uh, this is going bye-bye. Uh, once again, one of the longest running sponsors we've ever had.
Squarespace. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. Squarespace helps you connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated, members-only content, manage members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights, all in one easy-to-use platform. It also helps create a community with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments and replies and likes. You can also use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. Extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. On Squarespace, you can display posts from your social profiles on your website. Go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixel game squad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you once again, Squarespace. I appreciate you. Oh God. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a while though. So, so you guys aren't gonna see like any update for a while because we might even do like a home back here and have like a game room built inside of that. Because as you guys can see, this backyard is massive. So that's a possible opportunity. Hey, look, two dogs. What do you know? We're babysitting Abigail. That one's Abigail right there, the darker one, the chocolate lab. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna be a while before anything really changes uh, for now. So kind of just recoup some things uh, in the meantime and got things kind of set up for the time being. And thanks for coming along today. I know we kind of did every other backwards, forwards type of thing today. Just kind of mixed it up. So uh, thank you. I appreciate it. But now, got to fill these shelves for my son. For my son. <laughs>